two stories about your girl Erica Mena. Number one, did y'all know that she's still beefing with that chick, Gabrielle Davis, the one who used to go with Pleasure P from Love of Hip Hop Miami? I heard that Erica and Safari are going to be starring in Love of Hip Hop Miami, allegedly, to help save the show. Remember, I told y'all there's no star in that show. They thought that Trina was going to be the star, and I'm like, Trina is not a star anymore. So how the hell can she be the star of the show and she's not a star at all? So allegedly they're bringing Erica and Safari on there to save the show because they were allegedly thinking about canceling it. Anyway, she's still beefing with the pretty red bone Jamaican chick, Gabrielle Davis, that used to go with Pleasure P from Pretty Ricky. Also, Erica posted an image on Twitter and what she said was, I'm so excited for you ladies. And it says, basically, it <laughs> it's Safari's Anaconda in a box. It's a replica of the mean three and a half inches so doc johnson usa had posted on social media they said finally you know that they're you know debuting the safari toy that was supposed to come out so what do you guys think like ladies would you ever let your man do that let him make a replica of the mean three and a half inches so that the women could and and enjoy themselves a piece of your man or or are you not down for that is that not cool Erica is so cool with it that she's like, yeah, I can't wait for y'all to enjoy so y'all can feel how I've been feeling impaled. Are y'all going to take a ride on the Jamaican joystick? Are y'all going to take the Jamaican javelin in your abdomen or nah? Here's what the Jazz and Brian posted. For the record, the, bra the Jazz and Brian is my favorite. <laughs> I almost said Raisin Brand. The Jazz and Brian is my favorite entertainment site. Shout out to Shar Patterson. So, title of the article is Erica Mena and Love of Hip Hop Miami's Gabrielle Davis continue to hurl insults after fallout over Safari Samuels. Remember when Erica and Safari broke up temporarily for like a day or two or three? But she, she, couldn't, she couldn't live without the mean three and a half. Pause. I just remember something. Did y'all see I got the hookup? Part two, Erica Mena as Peaches. She killed her role. She's an amazing actress. Erica Mena and Safari. Let me know in the comments if you want me to, to review I Got the Hookup 2. Say, I want you to review I Got the Hookup 2. If not, I won't do it. Erica Mena and Safari Samuels are back together after Gabrielle Davis provided receipts that Samuels was allegedly creeping on Mena with Davis recently. But the drama between Mena and Davis who appeared in season one of VH1's Love & Hip Hop Miami, still seems to be going strong. It appears to have started when Mena tweeted Sunday, quote, you notice it's always the super bitter butthurt females most of the time that claim they don't want to get married. Davis seemed to catch wind of the tweet and had a response just hours later. Bitter, bothered, B-words, always quick to point a finger, laughing, crying emoji, like I'm over here minding my business. I'm not willing to marry someone who is willing to marry anyone. <laughs> she added, quote, like watching two leftovers trying to make a whole meal. <laughs> is that a popcorn emoji or some chicken? Anyways, shout out to your girl, DJ Tracy Steele from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. She, she coined the phrase popcorn hoes, and I quote. So, <laughs> <clears throat> Who misses Tracy Steele? She has nothing to do with this. I just want to know who misses Tracy Steele. Mina clarified her original tweet and wrote, quote, I actually quoted this off having conversations with females who claim this. You, clear <laughs> you clearly see how hurt and bitter they are. It's an instant observation I got, and I know it's a common one. Sad, because deep down you know they don't really mean it. Mina then mentioned Davis and said, quote, <laughs> It's probably best you be more concerned on getting your green card back after getting caught smuggling than you are about me or what I tweet. Being homeless and alone in Jamaica has to suck. I'm sure your brain damage doesn't help either. She added, quote, you don't have a pot to piss in, but enjoy watching me and mine. She also retweeted a fan who chimed in, quote, you forgot to add Nora Wendell to throw it out of, laughing, laughing crying emoji. She wrapped it up with, quote, Point proven, it's the bitter and butt hurt females who feel exactly what I said they do. Listen, if you guys missed part one of this beef, type this in on YouTube. If you don't know what's going on, type in Meat Magazine, Safari, Erica, Gabrielle. The video should pop up. You know, I broke it down already with videos and text messages and whatnot. 
that came from Gabrielle. She was allegedly showing that Safari was talking to her behind Erica's back, and then they broke up for a minute. If y'all missed that, just type in Safari Erica breakup meat magazine or rather meat magazine safari erica breakup those videos should pop up as well i made multiple videos about the topic of course she took them back pretty quick after destroying the house knocking roses all over the place <laughs> shout out to erica anyway so what do you guys think man i think that the the things that she was saying about your girl gabrielle were pretty harsh i mean poor shaming people come on now erica just because you got some rich baller Jamaican stud with the most amazing hairline on his <laughs> shout out to Safari that's my boy I'm just messing y'all but you got you, you, you do with all this money you're making money doing your thing too you know you don't have to throw it up in other people's faces if they don't have cake like you Erica I think that you did go too far with what you were saying to Gabrielle right there I feel like that's hashtag war on pretty so I gotta call it what it is even with Erica being the finest woman out there right now well, she's a tie with Jocelyn Hernandez and Brittany Renner, fitness chick. But anyways, this is all my opinion. What do I know? All I know about is pretty. All right. That's all I know. I studied pretty. Okay. At the University of Pretty. Whose side do you want? Erica's or Gabrielle's? Do you think that Erica went too far? Or you think she didn't go far enough? You think she should have said more? And what do you guys think about Safari Samuel's toy? Are you ladies going to be buying it? Tell the truth. You know you want that safari at all, heifers. Some of y'all going to get two of them. And the real freaks are going to get three. Real freaks holler at me. Let me know what y'all think about it below. Me Magazine on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and MeWe. Me Magazine blog on Instagram. Click the thumbs up button. Subscribe button. And when you click the subscribe button, it's going to be the notification bell. Click the notification bell. Click all notifications. So then that way, you'll receive alerts whenever new videos get posted. Make sure you post a comment below even if you're just saying hi. But I would like for you to speak on the toy situation. And you can make a separate comment, for example, or the same comment. It's up to you. About this situation between Gabrielle and Erica Mena. What do you guys think? I think that Erica just went too far. I love Erica, but, you know, she, 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 she's pretty girls are ruthless. And do you think that her once again arguing with Gabrielle is a sign? Do you think that that's a sign that maybe her and Safari are meant to be together? If they're fighting over some chick from his homeland? Let me know what y'all think about it below. Me Magazine.